Okay. So our um, statics final exam will be six problems, each worth the same amount. Uh, and so here I'll, I'll tell you the six topics you need to be studying, preparing for, uh, for the final exam. <clears throat> Then I'll go through these six problems, uh, work them out for you, and I'll talk a little bit about an overview of every type of problem. So the final exam, um, <clears throat> six problems each worth the same amount. Uh, they are test-like problems. You know, they're, they're, each problem is long. Not, not one problem is going to be a gimme or an easy problem. Um, six, you know, medium difficulty, long problems. Um, and problem number one will be an equilibrium problem, a particle in equilibrium, right? We're summing the forces equal zero. Now, it might be 3D like this, or it might be 2D. So go back and look at all the 2D and 3D particle equilibrium problems where we are solving like this, we're solving for the tension in the cables. <clears throat> go back and look at those 2D problems of... of um, hey, what, what is the maximum weight such that none of the cables exceed a certain tension? I'll uh, go back and look at those problems, but but we are looking at a point and summing the forces in x equals zero, summing the forces in y equals zero, summing the forces in z equals zero. All right. Uh, problem number two <clears throat> will be either a moment about a point or a moment about an axis. All right. Either a moment about a point or a moment about an axis. <clears throat> Problem number three will be a truss, and so it might be method of sections like this one, but it might be method of joints. All right, so three, three will be a truss, either method of sections or method of joints. Problem number four will be frames and machines. Frames and machines, and, and there were many, many different types of frames and machines that, that we looked at. Um, you know, pins, rollers, rockers, slots, uh, collars, fixed connected, you know, go back and look at all of those. Also, for four and five, look at and think about distributed loads. <clears throat> look at distributed loads. Uh, problem number five will be an internal load problem, where you know, go look at the whole free body diagram. Solve for you know the pin at B, the 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 collar at A, uh, and then cut it. And I'll show you where to cut it and solve for N, V, and M. Right. Solve for the normal force, the shear force, and the bending moment. <clears throat> And then number five, so sorry, then number six will be kind of a, a, a double problem. <clears throat> Both first find the centroid and then find the moment of inertia, right? Find the centroid and then find the moments of inertia about the X and the Y centroidal axes. So first got to find the centroid and then find the moment of inertia about the centroidal axes. So, so there, there are the six problems. Each worth the same amount. You know, I don't know if one is shorter than the other, but they, they will all be worth the same amount. Um, and so I'm going to go through these problems, and then I'm going to give you an overview of these problems, and then I hope that you will decide which of these topics you need to go back and study a little bit more. If I were you, here's how I would uh, go back and study. I would go back to the tests we took this semester and the old tests that I've given you. Go back and redo those problems. Then I would go back to the test reviews. Most of, most of the times I've, I've given you kind of a test review leading up to a test with some example test type problems. Um, and then I would look at the in-class problems and then I would look at the homework problems. So for, for any one topic, you probably have you know 10 or 11 problems to practice, to go back and, 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 and think about and review. Don't memorize these problems. Right? I'm going to try my best to throw something at you that you haven't seen before. If you memorize anything, memorize the process. Think about the, the process of what am I going to do for problem number two. You know, no matter what I see, problem number two, if it, you know, I know it's a moment about a point or moment about an axis, what am I going to do? No matter what I throw at you at problem number two, first thing, you know, we'll talk about this, but first thing, I would ask myself, is this a moment about a point or a moment about an axis? Then write the equation for that. Then I would, I would try to break that equation up. So, you know, know the process for how to handle each of these problems. Uh, and then hopefully you'll do pretty good. You have two hours and 30 minutes. Um, this semester, um, I'm giving you two hours and 40 minutes to 10 minutes to account for the online uh, downloading and then uploading back your test. Okay? All right, so let's work out some of these problems. <clears throat> 